I don't smoke, but I feel like I need a cigarette after that. Car Obsession is proudly supported by Exchange My Car, Carly and Draggy. For a limited time only, use Car Obsession 10 to get money off with Carly and there's also a discount code for Draggy as well, which again is Car Obsession 10. All of the details are in the video description below. Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio, the quad, Quadrifoglio. Right, okay. So I've only got this car for about 15 or so minutes, 15, 20 minutes. So this will really be my first impressions. Green seat belts, huh, quite nice, who knew? Green, green seat belts, I like that. So yes, I'm not gonna spend too much time uh, obsessing about the seat belts. So I don't quite know how I've never got around to driving one of these, but, I can now tick it off my ever-growing list of cars I want to drive. Now, I know this car has been out for quite some time. I'm very late to the party, but hey, I've arrived. So under the bonnet, I have a two point, oh, a pheasant. Move pheasant, pheasant, you're gonna die. Anyway, under the bonnet, I have a 2.9 litre V6 petrol which has got some Ferrari influence. Oh yes. So, can we say it's a Ferrari, a Ferrari engine? Yeah, why not? It offers uh, 510 horsepower with 600 Newton meters of torque. I may have got the horsepower wrong. I may need to correct myself there. This will hit 62 miles per hour. <laughs> this will hit 62 miles per hour in just 3.9 seconds at the top speed it's 191 miles per hour in a saloon. <laughs> I do have a choice of driving modes. For those of you familiar with Alfa Romeo, you have DNA. But with this being a quadrifoglio, you've also got race, which is what I'm in right now. Whoa! That is fast. That is very, very fast. <laughs> but what else would you expect? Yes, please. This power is, of course, fed to the rear wheels via an eight-speed automatic. Now, in other markets, you can get this, or you could, I don't know whether things have changed, you could get this with a manual, but in the UK, it's automatic only. One thing I love are the very large paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. Because they're so big, they're always easy to reach. Look how gigantic they are. They're like Gary Lineker's ears. They're fantastic. So big. The paddle shifters, well, and Gary Lineker's ears. Gary, if you're watching, sorry. Ooh, that eight speed. That works really well. That noise. Oh, that noise. It is to die for. Bellissimo. Ciao bella. And any other stereotypical phrases, Italian phrases you want to throw at this car. Oh, I've got low fuel. I've only been in it a few moments. Now, one thing that is impressive about this car is the weight. It's lighter than you may imagine. Have a guess at how much you think this car weighs. Bearing in mind, it's a saloon. It's got lots of leather in it. It's got a big V6 engine. I'll give you uh, one or two moments to mull it over. If you guessed 1,000 524 kilograms, then give yourself a massive pat on the back, unless you Googled it, that's cheating. So this car, for what it is, is very light. You've got plenty of carbon fiber materials. In fact, I can see some carbon fiber in front of me. This is a light car. 
Um, certain elements such as the prop shaft are made from carbon fiber and I will probably need to cut to a voice over to be, able, be a bit more specific about the materials used for this car. So I've, like I said, I've just literally jumped in this car. But yes, needless to say, this car is light. Yes, it's not just the prop shaft that has been crafted using carbon fiber. The strong but lightweight material has also been used for the bonnet, roof, front splitter, rear splitter, and body inserts. Aluminium has also been used for the doors and the wings, helping to give the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio a perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Brakes got a lo lovely firmness to them. I know I've got low fuel. It's a V6. It's not meant to be frugal. Right, the steering's got a nice weight to it. It's direct down the steering wheel. Feels lovely. It's a mix of leather and Alcantara. It's, it's a joy to behold. You've got a little carbon fiber strip at the bottom. It's a very nicely appointed interior. Very stylish, very Italian. I love the fact you've got the um, engine start stop button on the steering wheel as well. That's just like race car, isn't it? Right, on the brakes hard. Yeah, even with the uh, ESC off, this thing is planted. In fact, I want to see what it's like when you just put it into D, which by memory I think stands for dynamic. It has to, it's D. I do normally know what the, um, I think DNA, I think it's dynamic, natural, and auto. Oh, okay, even in dynamic. Cool, Trigger, triggering the hazard lights with uh, with my heavy braking. Even in dynamic mode. Oh, oh God, this is good. you've got all this performance underneath your right foot it's still comfortable cool, the seats really holding me in place well there the bolsters are lovely thick and chunky so when you're really pushing it in the corners you do have that support cool, those brakes are good oh whoa god this car is thrilling who needs an espresso when you've got an Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio at your disposal? Oh. On those brakes, hard, bam, they're good. God, this is thrilling. This is so good. Why? Why is it taking me so long to drive one of these? It is brilliant. I was going to say it's a muy bueno, but that's Spanish. That's the wrong language, Aaron. But I kind of similar. Right, one more lap before we possibly run out of petrol. I, don't, I actually don't know how many miles I've got left. Right, okay, I'm gonna do one more lap. I hope I've got enough petrol. I've got 15 miles. That should be enough, I think. <laughs> We're about to find out. Right, on the loud pedal, whoa. The response this thing has. It's got the get up and go of an excitable Labrador. Whoa. Oh my word, I, I knew this car would be good. But, oh, this has exceeded my expectations. Keeping a real watch of eye on that, uh, on that petrol, um, on the petrol range. Apologies, I haven't made much eye contact with you in this video, but I've just been really soaking up the moment and just, well, to, to, another, and to another degree, just focusing on what I'm doing because this thing, oh yes. Oh. Trail braking. Turn it in tight. Oh, this is a really well sorted out car.
much soul. It feels like a, a, a living being. Wow. I knew this car would be good, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm quite blown away. I'm almost, and this is a rarity, lost for words. I genuinely need a few moments to compose myself after that. I'm gonna put it into natural. Just calm everything down. And no, this, this is not an act for the cameras. I'm not exaggerating, this is my honest, knee-jerk kind of first reaction first feelings yes i know i've got low fuel shut up oh god exhilarating that is the word that's coming to mind right now why is it taking me so long to drive one of these aaron what have you been doing with your life you twazuk I don't know if you've been able to tell by my reactions, but this is quite a good car. And sadly, I need to give it back. Probably good things, it needs fuel. And thankfully, I'm not paying for it. Um, yeah, a massive thank to, to Alfa Romeo UK for letting me have a quick spin in the Julia Quadrifoglio. And believe me, it has left a, a, a lasting mark on me. Or oh, there's JBCTR in his GI Yaris, probably going home. I don't smoke, but I feel like I need a cigarette after that. Oh, God, that was good. Yes, um, anyway, um, massive thank you to, to uh, massive thank you to Alfa Romeo UK. I can't even get my words out, my, my brain is frazzled. Um, I do hope you have enjoyed this video. I do hope you've enjoyed me making weird, questionable noises for a few minutes of your time. Sorry about that. Um, if you have enjoyed this video and found it useful, then be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession. Now, how do I gain the money to afford one of these? Where's the nearest bank I can rob? I could use this as the getaway car. Now it needs more fuel. That won't work. To be fair, with today's fuel prices, I need to rob a bank just to fuel this damn thing, let alone buy it.